Assalamualaikum students. Welcome in Mathematics Point. Here is Fatma Saadi and today we will do a chapter Linear Equations and Simple Inequalities Exercise 5C Question number 3, 4 and 5. Thik hai? So to read out the statement of the question number 3, let's move towards the books. Okay, ji, question number 3 is Amira is 4 years older than Priya and Shirley is 2 years younger than Priya. If the sum of their ages is 47, find their respective ages. Well, first of all, in this question, you just note down that uh, the main target is the Priya because Amira is 4 years older than Priya. Whatever the age of the Priya is, Priya ki jo bhi umar hai, Amira is 4 times older, matlab ki 4 saru se badi hai. And Shirley is 2 years younger than Priya. That's mean ki Shirley se 2 saal chote hai. Kis se Priya se. So what is the age of the Priya? Yaha pe to kithar bhi mention hai. So that's mean we have to consider this Priya's age. We have to assume the Priya's age. You can let any variable because the Priya's age is unknown. And when we know the Priya's age then we can assume okay 4 years older and 2 years younger. And uh, we have the sum of the respective ages that is 47 and find their age. So now move towards the solution. Okay, Jay, now here first of all we have to consider the Priya's age, okay? Uh, Priya's age, okay, Jay. Priya's age. Because we don't know what is the age of the uh, Priya, so here we can write, uh, write down let Priya's age is equal to x, okay? You can consider x or any variable, okay? Now the Amira is 4 years older. Older ka matlab hai 4 sar bhadi hai. Yani ke if I have the age suppose 20 so when a person is 4 years older than me that means usme 4 years of age add ho jayegi so same is that we have this situation amira ki hamare paas kya amira's age hamare paas kya 4 years older than priya priya ki x se to amira ki kya ho jayegi x plus 4 now the next is shirley age 2 years younger uh yeah, two years younger. Two years younger means whatever the age of Priya you have, वो से दो साल छोटी है, younger है, ठीक है? तो उसमें क्या हो जाएगा minus? दो साल पहले की बात हो रही है, younger, यानी कि younger है तो minus हो जाएगा, older है तो add हो जाएगा. आ, मैंने आपको example दी थी twenty की, twenty years post age है तो four years older है तो add हो जाएगा, और अगर four years two years younger है तो minus हो जाएगा. Same thing happening with this statement. Now we have the sum of their ages as a given sum of their ages. Okay, this is e is equal to uh, this is equal to 47. So, uh, so yes, 47. Now we had to add up their ages. What are the ages we have? First is for the age of uh, Priyas. Then this is the age of the Amira. Then we have the age of Shirley. So the sum of all the ages is equal to 47. Now from here we find out the value of the x. First of all you have to add up your x variables. Apne variables ko add kar 1, 2, 3. So we have 3x here. Then constant humare paas 4 minus 2. Thik hai? 4 mein se 2 minus kar de, that is, is equal to 2. 47. 2 yahan pe constant hai plus ke sign ke saath hai. When hum equal ke dousi taf shift karwayenge. So this will become equal to you have to just subtract it from the 47 now okay so now we have to find out the variable aapke paas kya hai yahan pe 3x hai that is equal to 45 is coefficient 3 ko both side mein divide kar dete hain so x is equal to 3 ones are 3 when carry 3 fives are 15 x is equal to 15 theek hai uh, now we have to find out their respective ages. Ye to sif x ki value find hoki. Ab humne inki ages find out karni hai. Priya ki age kya thi x? Priya age. X thi x ki value put karte hai. 15. So that's mean Priya age is 15. Then next is Amira. Amira's age humare paas kya ho jayegi? X plus 4. So, you have x ki value 15, 15 plus 4, that is, is equal to 90. Next, last time, we have the age of Shirley. Now, we have the age of 
x minus 2 so the value of x you have 15 15 minus 2 is equal to 13 so you have their respective ages first priya ki thi priya likh le 15 second hamare paas anira ki thi 19 third hamare paas shile ki thi to aap likh le 13 so these are their ages now move towards the statement of question number uh, number 4 okay ji question number 4 is the sum of two numbers one of which is two third of the other is 45 find the smaller number the sum of two numbers they are talking about the two numbers ठीक है आपके पास एक नंबर क्या है हमें कुछ नहीं पता लेकिन दूसरा नंबर उसका two third है एक नंबर जो भी आप assume करेंगे the second number will be two third of the first their sum is given we have to find out the smaller number okay so now we make the statement the sum of two numbers I'm just uh, uh, calling the uh, yeah, word statement the sum of now two numbers it means that there are two numbers that are going to be added. The sum of two numbers is equal to uh, 45. Whatever the two numbers are, their sum will be equal to 45. In which one number is two th third of the other. One number is two third of the other. Whatever the number here is, the second number is two third of the first number. Here number I have a question number. The second number is two third of the first number. First number. First number ही नहीं पता. दो number sum हो रहे हैं. हमने लिख लिया. Sum is equal to 45 पार है. वो भी लिख लिया. Second number first का 2 third है. We just write down 2 third of the first number. Now, here is need to assume what is your first number. Suppose, I just let the first number is n. So, that means second number is 2 third of the first number. So, here also come n. ठीक है? Suppose कर लेते हैं. So, इस तरह से आपकी statement complete हो जाएगी. And we can find out the number. And after then, uh, by putting the value, we can find out the smaller number. Okay, this way you have to make a statement. Now, we do proper way. Mein karte. Okay, this is what I The sum of two numbers. First of all, we let the number. Let the number. Ya first number, kar le. first number. Kar le. Let the first number is equal to x. Okay, the second number is two-third of the first number. The second, no. Kya given it? Two third of the first number. First number we press ke x so write down x here. Now the sum of two numbers x plus two by three x yani ke sum of two numbers equal to forty five. So find the smaller number. What the pele number find kale, then we will decide okay what is the smallest number or which is the smallest number. Now we have to simplify this equation three ones are three. ऐसे कर लें या ऐसे में लेके कर लें जैसे आपको इजी लगता है। ओके, here when we take the ऐसे में three one zero come three, so make the numerator equal, denominator equals of the fraction. For equalizing it, we have to multiply three here as well as with the numerator. So three one zero three already written three x into three x minus sorry plus two x. That is the second equation. क्योंकि पहले से इसकी हमारे पास जो denominator equal है, and then you write in forty five. And the second method is 3 1s are 3 because here is a coefficient 1, 3 1s are 3x plus 2x and write on a 1 denominator 3. Okay, now simplify 2 plus 3 is equal to 5x by 3, 3 and is equal to 45. Do the cross multiplication. Yahan pe kuch bhi denominator bhi niche nitha, mene 1 likh diya. Kuch na ho to 1 hi ho ta. Now do the cross multiplication. Thik ho gaya. Uh, now. 5 1s are 5, 5x, then multiply 45 into 3, 5x, 5 3s are 15, 5 1 carry, 5 3 4s are 12, plus 1 30. Okay, now we have to remove this coefficient, so we have to divide it on both sides. x is equal to 5 2s are 10, 3 carry, 5 7s are 35, 27. Uh, 5 2s are 10. 3 carry and 5 signs are 3 that's a 27 now we have to find out which is the smallest number 1 number to ye ho gaya 27 thik hai is mein dekhe x ki value put ho gaya 27 ab is mein put karke dekh lete hain phir hum batayenge smaller one kaun sa hai 2 by 3 x hai x ki jagah hum iski value put kar dete hain 27 3 1 sa 3 3 9 sa 27 and here 9 2 sa 18 आप देखें हमारे पास first number twenty seven है second number eighteen है तो smallest one कौन सा हो गया second number so here you can just write down 
the smallest number is equal to 80 okay this is the answer of your question number four now we move towards the book and read out the statement of the question number five okay so now read out the statement of question number five if a number is stripped it gives the same result as when 28 is added on it find the number if a number is stripped whatever the number is we don't so here we just assume or let whatever you number lenge, उसको जब हम three times कर देते हैं, triple कर देते हैं, ठीक है, तीन गुना कर देते हैं, तो उसका वही answer आता है कि जितना कि उस number में 28 को add करते हैं, यानि कि जो भी आपने number consume किया हुआ है, अगर उसमें आप 28 add करें, वो भी वही answer देता है कि जितना कि उस number को तीन time triple कर लिया, तो हमने वो number find out करना है। Okay, जी, here we just uh, revise the question or repeat the question. If a number is triple ठीक है, if a number is tripled, what is the number we don't know? Okay जी, if a number is tripled, ठीक है, number क्या नहीं पता, so I just put the question mark. If a number is tripled, it gives the same result. ये वही result देता है, when we add 28 on it. 28, जो उस number में हम add करते हैं, तो दोनों का answer same आता है. अगर आप एक number को triple times कर दो, तीन गुना कर दो, या उस नंबर में 28 ऐड करो तो आपको सेम रिजल्ट मिलता है यहां पे क्वेश्चन मार्क शो कर रहे कि यहां पे कोई नंबर है अब नंबर ही नहीं पड़ता तो हम लेट कर लेते हैं लेट द नंबर इज इक्वल टू x ठीक है इफ अ नंबर इज ट्रिपल सो दैट्स मीन ट्रिपल ऑफ द नंबर कितना हो जाएगा 3x नाउ वी मेक द स्टेटमेंट गिवन स्टेटमेंट को बनाए if a number is triple, triple yani ke 3x. Yaha pe wo number mein put kari. If a number is triple, it gives the same result as when 28 is added on it. On it, on it mein kis mein us number mein. So, ye aapke paas equation ban gaya. Now, we have to simplify this equation. 3x, aage toh humare paas simple hai. Pas aapko word problem ko reroute karke equation bana riya ni chahiye se. So, x इधर पॉजिटिव है कोई साइन नहीं है तो प्लस का साइन होता है यहां पे आएगा माइनस हो जाएगा नाउ वी सबट्रैक्ट 3 minus 1 is equal to 2x is equal to 28 कोफिशिएंट 2 है बोथ साइड में डिवाइड कर दो x is equal to 2 1s 2 2 4s 8 सो दैट्स मीन द नंबर इज 14 आ फाइंड द नंबर हां जी द नंबर इज 14 ठीक है तो आप यहां पे लिख दे द नंबर इज 14 सो दिस इज योर आंसर so in this lecture today lecture we just covered the question number uh, two three uh, sorry three four five so inshallah in the next video i will try my best so i will cover the question number five five seven uh, sorry six seven and eight so in this lecture we just covered the question number three four five inshallah in the next video I will try my best so I cover the question number 6, 7 and 8. So if you have any query related to this question, so query in the comment section. Till that, take care yourself. Allah Hafiz.